everybody! Welcome back! This is what happens when entitled Karens go to the beach. And so I heard what she's asking me, officer. You, and you, you want to tell her about the laws about right to record in public? Um, none of my children. Ma'am, there's an order to get off the beach by Susan, 11. Susan, what? That's the B-A-S-S-I-I -S -S that you need to B-A-S-S, -S -S, got it. Gotcha. I'm an investigative reporter. Are you, are you trying to be, like... I'm invasive a, and aggressive? No, no, I'm just simply documenting. It's, it's uh, really, your your energy is so ugly. It's unbelievable. Because yeah. I'm filming in public? If it's a public space, I feel like they have the right. I'm sorry. I love how this investigative journalist just kind of came in there with the facts. People really hate filming in public, don't they? Like, they really do. Even if you've got all the permits, they always seem to have a problem with it. Unfortunately, when you're in a public space, there is the chance that you could be recorded. And on the beach, still the chance. It's too loud! For you? For everybody! Yeah, take your picture, brother. Here, I'm an old... <laughs> Yeah, what are you proud of? What are you proud of? What are you proud of? You got to mind the music. I don't mind the music. Play, turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. All right. I'm always of the opinion that when you're in a sandbox with other people, we should always try to consider other people. You know, you gotta play nice. I'm not sure exactly how loud this music was. I wasn't there. It's not shown in the video. So it's difficult for me to give an opinion on that. But generally, if someone asks you to turn your music down, you could just do it. <laughs> Not a huge thing. But then again, if the music wasn't very loud, you also need to respect the fact that it is a public space and there is going to be music at the beach. We, we could try to decide on a playlist, you know, that everybody likes. Huh? There's a solution for ya. Ran into some Karens during tonight's session. She was recording us and I thought it was because she thought the mermaid outfits were cute. They are cute, look at you. She told me that I was very rude and disrespectful and she couldn't believe I had the audacity to be taking pictures on this beach when I have miles and miles of beach to take pictures on. And you also have miles and miles of beach to walk on. She told us she had to yell at my client's kids for playing tag. Why, it's a beach. This is a public beach with several other photographers taking photos but she only came up to us. Well, because she has a thing against mermaids, obviously. What you got against mermaids, huh? What did mermaids ever do to you, Karen? So some Kevin at the beach wanted some whooping. Whooping? Whooping? I'm sitting right here. Take your umbrella down. Oh my goodness. It really, this video really is proof that people just really don't know how to share, do they? <laughs> I think entitled people flock to the beach, don't they? It's kind of like a finder's keepers type of thing. No, this two feet of sand is my two feet of sand. <laughs> and the ironic thing about it is like, there's usually a lot of space, you know? There's, it's a beach. It's not just like a, like a tiny little plot of sand. There's plenty of room. If you want to do your own thing, you want to not be around people, that's cool. I get it. As an introvert, I get it. So just, just move or learn how to be around people. Hi, say hi to YouTube. I love it when the Karens get the phones out as if you're yeah, doing something we wrong. We have fun doing this. Yeah, we're horrible people because we like to catch fish and then release them. No, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not chumming, we're putting baits in the water. Was that really necessary? It's not, not your children, not your children, not your problem. I want that on a t-shirt. I wonder if Karens go to the beach specifically just to get pissed off, you know? I, this is supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be relaxing. Why you gotta mess with the good vibes? So no. we wrote that one, 2020. And these people <laughs> didn't like that we used that word and are now writing <laughs> Praise Dodd. 
<laughs> Sand wars over here. Oh look, you made a friend, a sand friend. <laughs> that's that's really petty. That's super petty. I love how they also just like left it there. <laughs> you could have just gotten rid of it. But no, we had to we had to create a sand war, a sand letter war. I think you might have proved your point. Praise God, praise be! There are children on this beach. Elsewhere you can, but this is our house. No, this is a public beach. I but don't you can't care. Be I no, don't. Hey, no, I was turning in. in. No. no, 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 that wasn't why I beat. Hey, hey don't get near my kids. Don't do that. Oh, don't. You know what? Don't. Get out my face. Get Look out of my face. Out. No, you walked up to me, man. Get out of my face. So get out. This is not your house. This is not your house. Not your house. Not your house. Not your house. You weren't getting aggressive. You guys are right. <laughs> so much drama at the beach today. It's hot on the sand. Tensions are high. I think it might be time for a nice quick dip in the ocean, eh? Nice little dip, dipsy doodle. Cool off, both of yous. We came to enjoy our day at the beach, but then Karen started complaining. About what? So Huntington PD took care of Karen for us. Is that her packing her Pack it up, Karen! No beach for you today. I always love it when they call the police and then they end up being the ones that get told by the police that they're in the wrong. It's the best. I love it. Continue. Call your parents up. One more time, Karen. You're on camera, you're gonna go viral. <laughs> Language. Um, so we do know that when we go to the beach that we are going to see people in bikinis, right? Right? She's even, like, she's wearing a one piece. There is no reason to call anybody names about what they're wearing, all right? But like this outfit, come on, man. She was just so upset at the sight of your beauty that she had to say something. How dare you be this beautiful? Can't you see there are Karens afoot? Yes, yes, yes we do. We do. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. Hey, don't worry. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony. You, you guys see this? You don't have my don't you, have you guys yeah, see this? Yes. Take pictures of me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what what have we done? You know what you did. <laughs> We're sitting here watching the ocean. No, they started. The no, night. you have two they men that just them. saw you. Uh, they're, they're with us. They're, we're with you. Take them. No, they're with us. Take them. They're my friends. Take them. You live here? Yeah, I live on Earl Street. We're part of the association. Take them. And they're I live on so, Clover Street, which is part of the so, association. Listen, pal, they were so I have nine minutes of you being rude, ma'am. I get it, I get it, I get no, it. No, but I'm, I slapped their phone. No. They have no Listen, right I, to. I get that it's a private beach and you don't want people here, but we're right part of the association. Exactly. I get it. And they're our friends, so they can be here. I get it, but. Yeah, but you're trying to kick us out of a community where we're, but we're, we literally pay to live. Clover Street is part of the association. How much do you pay? That's none of your business concern. Holy cannoli. She got so aggressive with us even after explaining that we pay taxes for the private beach down the road. Watch her instantly get aggressive, constantly calling us names and putting her hands on my beautiful girlfriend. Two kind gentlemen stepped in to try and defuse the situation and stayed until the cops came. Buddy. Really, she's just worried about her neighborhood. Y'all seem super aggressive. <laughs> Check out this Karen. Clearly sees me. Nope. Nope. Are you serious, man? Excuse me. Oh, sorry. You, you okay? Sorry. Well, maybe you should walk around me. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you should move. Really? I was here first. No? Don't count. Oh, all right. I'm going to call your county tax on you. I live here. Do you vacation here? I thought so. Ugh, at this point, just ignore people. Do other, do the sight of other people just, does it upset you that much? Just don't be around people then. 
The world is your oyster, unless someone else is doing something and minding their own business. Everybody needs to mind their business, all right? Jesus. Oh, Karen's calling the police because we're smoking. <laughs> She's calling the police. Um, Karen, that's a vape. Um not really sure so listen some peaches some peaches some peaches some beaches actually don't let you smoke but it's because of the butts you know because the butts create the litter it's not the same when it's a vape you know it's a dirty habit i hate it <laughs> i still do it <laughs> however not the same thing the worst is when like a karen comes up to you and you're just having your vape you're minding your business having your vape and <laughs> she's just like Excuse me, can you move further away from the door with your smoking? Karen, first of all, it's a vape. <laughs> I need it for my anxiety, it's CBD. And like, wh what does it, uh, how does that affect you? I'm sorry, does it affect you? We're outside, minding my business. I'm, no, I'm around literally no one, there's no one there. But you're smoking. There are children. There have been children here at one point in time. Think of them. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure that some of you are going to think that I'm wrong in the comments as you normally do. But to me, if I'm uh, minding my own business, there's no one around and a Karen shows up and she tells me to move because I'm va va vaping. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but like, for what? Who's here that's being affected by it? No one. We bought these here in Georgia. It's 4th of July. It's 4th of July. Get the out of here. All right, I'm not gonna comment on this one because I know how some of y'all feel about fireworks in the comments. <laughs> Honestly, after a lot of these encounters, after seeing them, I think there could be a way of going about your business and asking people to respect your boundaries that isn't rude, you know? If you go up to people and you're immediately confrontational, I'm sorry, but it's it doesn't make you look like you're in the right. You can always go up to people Explain to them calmly, you know, I live really close by. Could you could you not have the fireworks going off? Could you save it for 4th of July? Just getting pissed off about it and going and yelling at a bunch of kids. It's not going to it's not going to prove anything and it's not going to help. We all can learn how to play nice in the sandbox, okay? Subscribe.